Allah the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, notice he said, Abshiru wa Abshiru. This is such a beautiful statement. Rejoice, glad tidings. And this shows, as they mentioned here, from the benefits is al bisharatu bil khairi min hadihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that giving glad tidings is from the guidance of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now even in the quran we find many ayat allah says fabashir ibad so give glad tidings to my servants wa bashir alladhina amanu wa amilus salihat and give glad tidings to those who have iman and do righteous deeds wa bashir sabirin and give glad tidings to those who are patient Surely this Qur'an guides to that which is most upright. And it gives glad tidings to the believers, those who do righteous good deeds, that they will have Jannah. That they will have a tremendous, great reward. Yani Jannah. SubhanAllah. Look how Allah throughout the Qur'an gives us glad tidings. So we have to be positive, ikhwani akhwat. We have to be uplifting. We have to be encouraging. We have to be optimistic. This is Islam. Being optimistic person, this is being a Muslim. A Muslim is not pessimistic. A Muslim is not discouraging. A Muslim is not a negative individual. SubhanAllah. This is from the traits of shaitan. SubhanAllah. This is not a Muslim. The Messenger of Allah, وسلم, he said, لا وخير هل فأل. He said, that there's no omens in Islam. But the best of it is al-fa'lu, yani optimism, being optimistic. The companions, they ask, Ya Rasulullah, wa ma al-fa'lu? O Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is al-fa'lu? What is optimism? He said, al-kalimatu salihatu yasma'uha ahadukum. It is a good word that one of you hears. Subhanallah. Yani giving glad tidings, being optimistic, being encouraging, being uplifting, being positive. This is from Islam. Now, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu mentioned the narration, وَيُعْجِبُنِي الْفَأْلُ الْكَلِمَةُ الْحَسَلَةُ الْكَلِمَةُ الطَّيِّبَةُ That I'm amazed by optimism. The good word, a kind word. This is something that, that amazes the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he likes, that he loves. Now, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned in the Hadith Qudsi, أَنَا عِنْدَ ظَنِّ عَبْدِي بِي I am as my servant expects of me. Thinks of me in vanna khayran. If he thinks of me khayran, falahu, then he will have khayr. If he thinks good of me, he will have good. Subhanallah. When vanna sharran, falahu, and if he thinks evil of me, he will have it. Subhanallah. 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 Bihamdi. Showing the importance of being optimistic, being positive person. Subhanallah. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded us. He said, "Bashiru wa la tudafiru." Give glad tidings and do not run the people away. Do not run the people away. Now, this is from Islam. Ikhwani akhwat. Try your best to implement it. Try your best to implement it. Always be encouraging despite what you're going through. Now, and perhaps doing so will be a means of Allah Azza wa Jalla assisting you in your affairs. Saving you and assisting you in the trouble that you're going through. Through the circumstance you're going through right now. Just simply being positive to others, and smiling and saying, Alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal. This is one of the greatest ways of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helping you in your affairs. Naam. 